Hello and good evening students and welcome back to Global Online Platform. This is Chandni Swarnakar and today we are going to cover 30 questions on literary theory and criticism basically from previous year questions. It is our full revision series. You can get my lectures at 9 p.m. on a daily basis. But video mein aage badne se pehle mein aapko bata deti hoon. December exam mein jare flene ke liye smart preparation karna hooga. Uske liye Global Online aapke liye leke raya hai. English literature ka complete course jis mein aapko फुल सिलेबस वीडियो लेक्चर्स मिलेंगे जिसमें शॉर्ट एंड स्मार्ट के साथ आपके सारे कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर हो जाएंगे इसके साथ ही आपको फुल सिलेबस नोट डाउनलोडेबल पीडीएफ फॉर्मेट में अवेल कराया जाएगा जिसे आप अपने मोबाइल लैपटॉप में डाउनलोड करके पढ़ सकते हो इसके साथ आपको मॉक टेस्ट मिलेंगे जिसे एज इट इज क्वेश्चन एग्जाम में पूछे जाते हैं ये मॉक टेस्ट आपके फाइनल प्रिपरेशन में बहुत हेल्प करता है तो गिवन कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर पर कॉन्टैक्ट करके आप इसे ज्वाइन कर सकते हो और सबसे अच्छी बात इस कोर्स की यह है दर यूर गोइंग टू गेट कम्प्लीट पेपर वन कोर्स फॉर फ्री सो यू आर सेविंग थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड है ओके फ्री वीडियोस के एक्सेस के लिए ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन ऐप को आप फटाफट डाउनलोड कर सकते हो सो सेक्शन में जाओगे सो सेक्शन पे जाकर के कोर्स का नाम लिखोगे आपको कोर्स की ड्यूरेशन इसकी फीस हर चीज है मिल जाएगी कंटेंट सेक्शन पे क्लिक करते हो तो यूनिट वाइज जो है फोल्डर आपको अवेलेबल मिलेंगे हर एक यूनिट में थ्योरी लेक्चर्स इवेलुएशन नोट्स मॉक टेस्ट एंड एमसी आपको मिलेंगे इसके अलावा आपको कुछ भी पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है इसके साथ अगर आप ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन पेड कोर्स को ज्वाइन करते हो तो आपको व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप में भी ऐड किया जाएगा जहां पे हर एक सेशन की पीडीएफ आप लोगों के साथ में प्रोवाइड करवाई जाएगी ओके मूविंग ऑन टू आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन बिकॉज वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड सिक्सटी क्वेश्चन ऑन लिटरी थियोरी एंड क्रिटिसिजम सो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी वन टू नाइनटी ओके फॉर टूडे Yeah. So the question is, arrange the following terms in the chronological order as this appeared in literary theory. So the question is demanding that आपको क्या करना है? जो options हैं, ये literary theory में आए हुए हैं, appear हुए हुए हैं, और उनको chronologically जो है आपको set करनी है, ठीक है? तो मैं कुछ चीजें आपको बता देती हूँ, जैसे fellow fellow go centuries centuries में जो है, वो Jack Derrida की दी हुई टर्म है ओके जैक डरीडा की दी हुई टर्म है यू नीड टू नो देन लोकेशनरी एक्ट जो है ये जे एल सॉरी वेट अ मिनट जे एल ऑस्टिन ने दी है एंड इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी टू की एक बुक है उनकी बुक का नाम है हाउ टू डू थिंग्स विद वर्ड्स हाउ टू डू थिंग्स With words, okay. This is the title of the words. Okay. Then interpolation. Of course, interpolation we have discussed. So interpolation was given by Louis Althusser. Louis Althusser between nineteen eighteen to nineteen ninety. Okay. Then interpretive community. Interpretive community is a term given by Stanley Fish. By whom? By Stanley Fish in which year in 1964. Now note this down. Then I'll tell you the chronology of this uh, terms. Okay. So here let me erase it all. Yes. So first we'll go first logocentrism, locutionary sorry, log locutionary act will be there. Okay. So B will be at the first then. You are going to have interpolation. That is, that is C. The option number C. Okay. Then our fellow centrism. Uh, that is A and then D. Okay. So this is the correct terminology. B C A D. Okay. Do remember. Then moving on. Which of the following are books by Noam Chomsky? So you have to know the uh, works of Noam Chomsky is to answer this question, this type of questions. So let me tell you the works written by whom, okay? Which works is written by whom? So syntactic structures, uh, of course, it's a work by Noam Chomsky. So let me write it here. N. Verbal learning and verbal behavior is given by whom? Of course, not by Noam Chomsky. The language and society, not by Noam Chomsky. Aspects of the theory of syntax, we have discussed this so many times. So it's 
it is by Noam Chomsky, of course. The Pragmatics of Politics, Politeness, it is not written by Noam Chomsky. So, let me tell you some other works written by Noam Chomsky. Um, third one is Understanding Power. Understanding Power. Then Knowledge of Language. Knowledge of Language. Okay. So, these are the works. So, you need to know that A and D is the correct option. Okay. We have to choose this one. Moving on to question number 63. Match list 1 and list 2. So, these are the list 1 and these are the list 2. So, Horace Horace wrote a particular work, which is the work, of course, Arts Poetica. So, the third one. John Dryden. Okay. John Dryden wrote what? John Dryden wrote of dramatic poesy, not a defense of a rhyme. Okay. So, don't get confused here. So, the fourth one. Next, Samuel Daniel. So, Samuel Daniel wrote a defense of rhyme. Okay. So, the first one. We uh, did this a lot of time. So, I hope you all remember. Then Ben Johnson, of course, will go with Timber or Discovery, the second one. So, this is going to be our correct chronology. So, A with 3, B with 4, then C with 1 and D with 2. Okay, so this is the correct match. Not the chronology, I'm so sorry. Moving on. Arrange the following in the chronological order of publication. Arrange the following in the chronological order of publication. So, aspects of the theory of syntax. Aspects of the theory of syntax. It was published in or written by. Okay, aspects of the, the theory of syntax we have already discussed uh, uh, in our previous slides. Okay, so it is written by Noam Chomsky of course and it was written by 1900. Wait a minute, 1965. Okay, right. Moving on, course in general linguistics. Of course, it's a work by whom? Ferdinand de Chichard. And it was um, published in 1916. Okay, it's 16. Then, Semiotics and the Philosophy of Language. It's a work written by Umberto Vico. Umberto Eco. Okay, it was uh, basically published in 1984. How to do things with words. It's a uh, work by J. L. Austin. J. L. Austin. And it was published in 1962. Okay, so B will come first. Then uh, we are going to consider D. Then A. Then C. So this is going to be our correct chronology. B, D, A, C. Okay, moving on. Moving on, okay, the question number 65, arrange the following terms in the chronological order of emergence. Okay, so how they, uh, it came, okay, so arrange the following terms in the chronological order of emergence. Okay, so let's consider the options. The first option is heresy of paraphrase, stream of consciousness, practical criticism and defamiliarization. So, heresy of paraphrase basically given by Kleenith Brook and uh, in a particular work, the well wrote on the well wrote on so i wrote this a lot of time so i think you know this work no? okay so 1900 when 1949 okay 1949 the stream of consciousness was coined by whom william james in which year in 1800 william james and in 1890 then practical criticism, uh, of course, is associated with I.A. Richard and uh, there is a work where he coined the term and uh, it was published in 1929. Then the last work is defamiliarization. Defamiliarization was coined uh, by Victor Sklovsky. Victor Sklovsky. Okay. Victor Sklovsky and it was actually 1917. So, you can guess the chronology, of course not guess, you can just um, get. So, B will be there, B and uh, then 1917, so D will be there, then of course C and then A. So, this is going to be our correct chronology, B, D, C, A, okay. Now, moving on to question number 66, match list 1 and list 2. 
मिकेल डी सॉटो जॉन फिस्के प्यारे बॉर्जुआ जेनिस रैडवे ऑप्शन आर द स्टोन डिस्टिंगशन रीडिंग द रोमांस अंडरस्टैंडिंग पॉपुलर कल्चर द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ एवरी डे लाइफ सो वी हैव डिस्कस दिस पर्टिकुलर वर्क द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ एवरी डे लाइफ आई होप यू डू रिमेंबर दैट नो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट डिस्टिंगशन फर्स्ट ओके सो लेट्स कवर डिस्टिंगशन सो हू रॉट हू क्वेंड और हू गिवेन द टर्म डिस्टिंगशन okay so that you need to answer so pierre bourgeois was the person and will uh, c will match with the first one okay then john fiske okay michel de sorto which work michel de sorto wrote of course the practice of everyday life the fourth one here yeah. okay then john fiske john fiske wrote understanding popular cultures the third one so here you can write third and of course janice radway will go with the second one so here you can see a4 b3 then c1 and d2 okay so this is the correct match okay moving on question number 67 wait a minute who among the following presented the concept of multi accentuality of the sign saying that signs possess an inner dialectical quality and evaluative accent so you just need to remember this that who said this or who presented the concept of multi accentuality of the signs saying that the signs possesses an inner dialectical quality and evaluative accent whether it's ronald bats whether it's stuart hall or jack the reader or valentin voloshinov okay so the correct answer is valentin voloshinov okay correct answer is valentin voloshinov the fourth one is the correct answer moving on to the question number 68 which one of the following statements is true about aristotle's poetics so let's read first the statements the first statement is he asserted the value of poetry by integrating rhetoric and imitation he asserted the value of poetry by integrating rhetoric and imitation of course not he didn't do it then second statement is he asserted the value of poetry by focusing on both rhetoric and imitation um no of course not he asserted the value of poetry by giving preference to rhetoric over imitation of course not because he was not giving importance or reference to rhetoric over imitation then he asserted the value of poetry by focusing on imitation rather than rhetoric of course he was actually focused on imitation so the fourth one is the correct answer so here is the answer we have covered 68 question number as well we are going to cover question number 69 for today who among the following feminist theorists posited posited a separate realm of female experience captured it in a style of writing different from men's okay who among who among the following feminist theorists posited a separate realm of female experience captured in a style of writing different from men so you have to find out that so the writers are ellen showalter luce irigare kate millet and simone de beauvoir and helen sixes so there are only two writers that actually um, captured in a style of writing different from men that uh, those are luce irigare okay b and e b and which one e so this is the correct option okay moving on to question number 70 who among the following linguists proposed the term competence and performance and i guess we have discussed this right so who among the following linguists proposed the terms competence and performance so options are no webster steven pinker third roman jacobson or noam chomsky so the correct answer is noam chomsky okay so he talked about or proposed the terms competence and performance of course yeah moving on to question number 71 who among the following theorist particularly emphasized the social and historical dimensions of text reception okay so who um, you can also say that who has given the concept of or the theory of or the uh, theory of of course reception 
okay so reception theory so there was only one person but let's uh, talk about the uh, options the first option is wolfgang isha second stanley fish third hans uh, this is hans robert josh or pierre bourgeois okay so the correct answer without even uh, thinking this is going to be hans robert josh the third one is the correct answer okay moving on without wasting our time so question number 72 which one of the following assumptions best expresses the position of post structuralist criticism this question is all about pro structuralism uh, so criticism and you have to uh, opt the best assumption okay so the first one definite structures underline empirical events of course definite structure is not going to be with a uh, uh, post structuralist stru uh, criticism because it is associated with structuralism then language is representational language is representational of course it's not the, the true option correct one third apprehension of reality is a construct of course it says because um apprehension of reality is a construct because they construct it people construct it okay so this one is the correct one then knowledge operates according to procedures that are axiomatic so what is axiomatic basically it's true in such an obvious way that you do not need evidence to show that it is true koi bhi cheez itni zyada sach hogi jo ki jiske liye aapko usse prove karne ki zarurat nahi hai ki ye sach hai okay so that is axiomatic this is also not the correct option so the third one is the correct option you have to consider this one apprehension of reality is a construct okay moving on to question number 73 who among the following coined the dictum the medium in the message is the message dictum the medium is the message okay so the options are raymond williams whether it's erwin goffman uh, third uh, marshall mc luhan or john fiske who is the person who did it like who coined the term the dictum basically you know uh the correct answer is marshall mc luhan because in understanding there is a work written by um marshall that is understanding media let me write it for you understanding media colin this is colin the extensions extensions of man and that was published in 1964 okay so the publication publishing year of course in this particular work it coined uh basically the writer coined the victim the medium is the message okay so the third one is the correct answer moving on to the question number 74 which one of the following best explains the term paralanguage okay so you have to find out the best explanation of paralanguage here so the options are the way in which people mask what they mean by the words they use okay the ways in which in which people mask what they mean by the words they use second the ways in which people show that show what they means other than by the words they use or uh, the ways in which words carry meaning unintended by the speaker or d the ways in which the silence underlining speech communicates wrong meanings if you are not getting these options no pause the video and have time have your own pace okay and do answer that but before that i'll tell you the correct answer the correct answer is b because it is it says the ways in which people show what they means other than by the words they use okay so the correct answer is the question number b okay so the correct answer is what correct answer is the second option moving on question number 75 match list 1 to list 2 yeah so the first list uh list option are this is not super heated this is super hero sorry super reader and so the super hero i guess okay so super reader then bio power then biclock uh, and chronotypes we have to answer which is going to match with which of these writers okay so let me tell you super reader is going to match with whom third one mikhail refetre okay so mikhail refetri so the third one is uh, uh with a 
okay so michael refractory will go with super reader then power uh, sorry bio power will go with what michael foucault because it is given by michael foucault then bricoleg bricoleg was given by claude levi strauss so it will be the fourth one and chronotype of course will go with michael bakhtin bakhtin or bakhtin i sometimes um mispronounce it okay so let me tell you the correct match a with the third one b with the first one c with fourth and d with the second one okay so this is the correct match moving on arrange the following in the chronological order of publication so uh, i am so sorry to um, tell you that this is a question of british literature of course from the writers not from the literary theory or criticism but uh, still we'll discuss that okay so advancement of learning it was published in 1605 sorry 1605 it was written of course by francis bacon francis bacon okay then the origin of species i hope you all know the origin of species of course charles dickens 1859 then on heroes and hero worship was written by thomas carlyle we have discussed this so many times 1841 and the lives of the poets of course by samuel johnson so 1779 so you can see here this is 49 41 so a will come first then c then uh, sorry not c then d then c then b so this is the correct chronology is going to be there okay so this is a d c b is the correct chronology of this particular question moving on to question number 77 which two of the following statements are applicable to meta language applicable to meta language so you need to answer that let's uh, read the option okay so the first option is a technical language which describes the properties of language uh, okay second known as a first order language c a second order language that replaces a first order language with metaphors or d a second order language of course meta language is a second order language that is correct and it's not of course replaces first order so this is not the correct one of course known not known as first order language because it's known as second order language so the first one a technical language describes the properties of language this is also the correct one so the correct answer will be a and d okay this is the correct answer moving on to question number 78 Which one of the following is correct about Saussure's analysis of language? Which one of the following is correct about Saussure's analysis of language? So, lang is the system of a language. Of course, it's a system because Perrault uh, basically speaks about a particular time. Okay, uh, of people. Um, for example if somebody is speaking english that is perol and uh, the system the whole system of english is lang okay so the correct one is the first one of course uh, let's cover the second uh, other options perol focuses on language as a system at a particular time of course not because it does not talk about system third language is a particular instance of speech and writing of course it's not about particular because it's a system And then fourth one it's the correct one and correct one for all is the study of language over a period of time because we get do not cover the period of time if we do not study over a period of time in for all so this is also the incorrect one so the correct one correct option is the first one okay so the question number 78's answer is the first okay moving on to question number 79 which of these statements describes correctly the basic assumptions of structuralism so the question is asking about structuralism's basic assumptions so let's read the options let's understand the options and then we'll find the correct options okay so because which of this so there will be uh, more than one option so structuralism is concerned with science and signification of course it is associated with it and it is concerned with those things then second a structuralist theory considers only verbal conventions and codes of course not it covers each and everything C structuralism began in the work of Jack Derrida that influenced the 20th century literary criticism no of course not it's not the correct answer correct option of course okay so the first option is structuralism challenges the low, long standing belief that literature reflects a given reality of course it challenges so it is also the correct option 
and the last one all signs are arbitrary but without them we cannot comprehend reality of course this is the correct one because it talks about arbitrary and without them we cannot comprehend reality that structuralism also says so which are the correct ones a d and e okay so this is the correct options moving on to question number 80 match list 1 with list 2 archi creature cyborg genotext hermeneutic circle so you need to answer that you need to match them okay so archi creature basically is associated with whom jack derrida fourth one then cyborg cyborg is associated with which writer donna haraway second one then genotext is associated with which one julia kristeva kristeva sorry then hermeneutic circle hermeneutic circle with of course the only options option is left the third one so we'll go with the third one so a with 4 okay b with 2 then c with 1 and d with the third one okay so this is the correct match okay so moving on to question number 81 of course uh, so which two terms from among the following are specifically linked to the work of pierre bourgeois okay so you have to answer you have to opt two options that are actually associated with pierre bourgeois two terms okay so the option one is habitus second option consciousness third desire or the fourth one is distinction so which are the options that are actually a term basically is associated or linked with pierre bourgeois that you need to answer right so for, of course habitus is the one and distinction distinction has all um the full name of distinction is a social distinction call in a social critique critique of the judgment of taste of the judgment of taste okay so this is the whole title and these two options these two terms basically is associated with pierre bourgeois okay so a and d will be the correct answer moving on to question number 82 arrange the following critical works in the chronological order of publication arrange the following critical works is in their chronological order of publication so preface to lyrical battle of course it was published by um william wordsworth and the year 1801 don't get confused because without lyrical ballad was published in 1779 okay a defense of rhyme uh, it was 1603 in and it was written by samuel daniel then c life of colley life of colley was actually um uh written by samuel johnson that was published in 1779 right then the frontiers of criticism frontiers of criticism uh, basically uh was written by t s eliot and it was 1956 of course 1956 so b then c then a and then d okay so this is the correct chronology b c a d okay moving on to question number 63 83 not 63 <laughs> poetry according to sir philip sidney is of three kinds so according to sir philip sidney there are three kinds of poetry so you need to answer that according to sir philip sidney you don't need to answer uh, on your own okay so the first option is religious dramatic romantic second classical romantic new classical third philosophical imaginative or narrative or the fourth one religious philosophical imaginative so uh, sir philip sidney of course talked about three kinds and these are religious philosophical and imaginative so the fourth one is the correct option okay so the correct answer is fourth one moving on who among the following is known to have popularized the term globalization so before telling you the um, person who popularized it let me tell you what is globalization basically it's a combination of two words globalization and localization so here actually globalization talks about both okay so that Uh, that is globalization and localization and the term that uh, uh the person who have uh, popularized the one was ronald robertson okay so ronald robertson is the correct answer moving on to other options question number 85 which two terms among the following are associated with formless criticism so um aura actant date 
डिफेमराइजेशन ऑफ और ग्रांडिंग सो एक्टेंट एंड नरेटी नरेट्स ऑफ कॉस और इज नॉट फ्रॉम फॉर्मलेस क्रिटिसिज्म द ओनली ऑप्शंस आर फ्रॉम और एसोसिएटेड विद फॉर्मलेस क्रिटिसिज्म्स डिफेमराइजेशन ऑफ और ग्रांडिंग ओके सो डी एंड ई विल बी आर करेक्ट आंसर ओके मूविंग ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी Which cultural analyst has combined the study of different dimensions of youth culture with commentary on developments in cultural theory and politics? Which cultural analyst has combined the study of different dimensions of youth culture with commentary on developments in cultural theory and politics? Who was the person? So you need to answer. Whether it's Angela M C Robbie or Donna Haraway. और लिंडा हचियोन और जूलिया कस्टिवा हु इज द पर्सन ओके सो इज द पर्सन द पर्सन द करेक्ट आंसर इज एंजेला एम सी रोबी यू डू नीड टू रिमेंबर दिस डू रिवाइज ओके मूविंग ऑन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट सो लैंग्वेज इज अ लैंग्वेज सिस्टम ऑफकोर्स दिस वन इज द करेक्ट एंड द पेर ऑल द इंडिविजुअल यूज इज ऑफकोर्स इट्स द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ओके Language the language uses, but all the individual system. Of course not. Language is the language in mm, abeyance and for all the individual application. No. Language is language collective and for all the individual deviation. No. So this is the only option that is correct. Okay, these are incorrect options. The first one is the correct answer. Moving on to question number eighty-eight. Of the five conditions of the sublime, according to Longinus, the most important condition is so sublime. Um, of course, sublime is a very uh, important work. Okay, and of course, a, a term also that was given by a very important writer that is Longinus. So he talked about five conditions. Okay, so the only the most important condition you need to find out. These are the options. So the first option is vigorous treatment of passions. or majesty of the structure or a lofty cast of mind or a wide range of thoughts so the only most important condition is a lofty cast of mind if you have a lofty cast of mind you will do anything okay so you'll create sublime uh, to with any work moving on the following is a list of key critical terms which is the right phonological order of the formulation The following is a list of key critical terms, which is the right phonological order of the formulation. So here, hmm, you need to opt lang. Okay, so lang and perol, of course, it was actually given by Ferdinand de Saussure in uh, course of general linguistics. In general linguistics, it was in um, yeah, nineteen sixteen. This one, then difference. Difference basically. Given by Jack Derrida, it was of nineteen sixty-three. Okay, then the unconsciousness, unconscious, basically given by Sigmund Freud, and it was in nineteen fifteen. And then heresy of paraphrase, of course, the last one. Uh, heresy of paraphrase was given by um, um, Kleinet Brook. Okay, so in the well wrought urn, he um, was the person like gave it. Okay, so nineteen hundred forty-seven. So you can set it right here. So unconscious will come first, of course. Here you can see unconscious. Then lung, of course. Here, then uh, of course heresy of paraphrase will go with uh, the will follow and the difference. Okay, so the correct option is the second option. Okay, so correct answer is the second one, of course. The question number ninety. Let's talk about this one. Okay, so question number ninety. Which of the following describes the calls view on knowledge? Which of the following describes the calls of view on knowledge? The options are knowledge is not metaphysical or transcendental. Okay, so according to Foucault, you need to answer. So uh, it's not the correct option. Knowledge is not a matter of perspective. It's also not the correct option because Foucault does not describe knowledge um, this way. Okay, the third one, knowledge is not pure or neutral, but is always from a point of view. Of course, this is the correct one. The fourth one is knowledge is unconscious. Sorry, unconstrained by the genes of power. This is also not the correct one. So the only correct option here is the third one. Knowledge is not pure or neutral, but is always from a point of view. Okay, so this is the correct option. So here, 
you can see that we have covered 30 questions on literary theory and criticism we'll meet in the next lecture okay with something very important so all the very best and keep on revising things and pause the video if you don't understand some of the things do revise it do listen to the video very patiently you will get to know a lot of things okay thank you so much